Hello all you fire signs, welcome to your weekly energy update where we look at what energies the creator wants you to know about this upcoming week. This of course is for my Aries, my Leos, my Sagittarians, no matter where this is at in your chart. And this reading is going to be focusing in on January 16th to January 23rd. But these are timeless, so if your intuition, your gut brought you here, I would still watch the video because I'm sure there's going to be messages for you. So if you are watching it during that time frame, the energies that are going to be kind of impacting us during this week are, of course, January 17th, which is the Cancer full moon. So beautiful, beautiful emotional energy just being exploded <laughs> during that day for us. Also, this week, we also move into the Aquarius season on the 19th. So you got some beautiful energy coming in there too. So just this wonderful play of energy is coming in. I did create separate videos for the Cancer full moon, which gives information about the week before the full moon and the two weeks after, and then also an Aquarius pick a card reading. And all those will be listed somewhere here at the like, bottoms or the top at the end of the video. So, and I'll mention it at the end too. So, but for this week, let's take a look here and we're going to start off by pulling from these Earth Magic Oracle. Let's see what the Creator has in store for all you fire signs for this week. Or what they want to give you a heads up about anyway. So we'll take all the information we can get these days. <laughs> all right, so for our fire signs, what do you want them to know about this upcoming week, please? Okay, and they want to that one right there. And you've got the shaman, ancient healing wisdom. So definitely a connection to the higher realms there. And let's take a look and see what message comes with the shaman here for you. And it says the deep compassionate eyes of this Native American shaman portray the wisdom of one who has seen and who knows. He's witnessed visions, spirits, suffering, and joy, and knows that everything that exists has spirit's intentionality behind it. Able to travel beyond the veil of ordinary reality, the shaman's primary assignment is to discern and maintain the balance between what his human community takes from the natural world and what it gives back. And when this relationship is out of balance, the shaman must do whatever is necessary to restore it. So balance equals healing. The shaman lives his life in ceremony and treats everything with reverence, including the great mystery of death and even the great mystery of capital L life. He works with his spirit helpers, including his ancestral spirits, to help him in his service to his people and to Earth Mother, providing a liaison between the spiritual and physical worlds. Charged with relieving suffering as one of his priorities, the shaman does so by first also tending to the spiritual wound, the source of all illness. These healings, I'm sorry, these healing powers have been passed along over the millennia from the ancient ones who knew the healing and curative powers of spirit. So I love this. There's also let me, a separate message I want to read here. And it says, all illnesses, whether physical, emotional, or psychological, stem from an illness of spirit. It may be due to soul loss, psychic intrusions, ancestral karma, or any other spiritual causes that could be contributing to the manifest condition for which you seek help. Whatever other mythologies or remedies you pursue, whether allopathic, alternative, or a combination, let the healing of your spirit be your priority. Know that the deepest spiritual wound is the illusion of being separate from Source, God, Great Spirit, or whatever name you give the Creator. It is the trick of the mind that creates the sense of separation. This is a time for deep healing, starting with your relationship with spirit. Call upon your spirit guides and ancestors to help you with an emotional, mental, or physical healing that you need. Call upon the Creator to assist you in mending any rift in your relationship with spirit. Choose thoughts that support wholeness and well-being. 
allow any darker thoughts or shadows to appear as well, but simply observe them as they arise in consciousness, then dissolve. See yourself as healed, whole, and complete, and it shall be. So great, great message for this week. Definitely about balance between the physical world and the spiritual world. And very much so this call to take time out, to take a deep breath, get out into nature, get away from all the chaos, get away from all of that noise so that you can raise your vibration and, and connect with the spiritual world, which is of unconditional love and joy and laughter and peace. And when you raise your vibration up to that, you can connect and you can hear from them. You can hear from your guardian angels and your angels and your spirit guides, your loved ones who have already gone back to the other side, your ancestors, creator, spirit, holy spirit, you know, unicorns, fairies, whatever you believe those beings of unconditional love and light are, they're calling you for that deeper relationship because all of our dis-ease in the physical realm really comes from something deep within us, some fears that are there, some unbalance, imbalance that's there. We're also going to pull cards here from, these are the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. Let's we'll see what else the Creator wants you to know about this week and about this balance and connection to spirit. I'm loving it. All right. Okay, they want that one. What else? Okay, anything else? And that one. All right, so we're going to start with these since they made themselves known here. <laughs> this is hilarious because first you have the magician. You can see the infinity symbol up here, and so this represents your higher self. So connecting to your higher self, connecting to the spiritual realm. And the magician brings in, he has his wand raised to the heavens, and he brings in that awareness, the wisdom, the unconditional love energy, all that essence in and then out into the earth. So that, you know, healing of the shaman is like the magician, it, you have that ability. But you also have everything you need in here. It always has the cups, the wands, the swords. You have everything you need within you whether you recognize it or not. <laughs> and so this is all about connecting to that higher realm and connecting and bringing that spiritual energy with you into you. And what's funny is that you have the King of Wands too. And Wands is fire energy. It represents like your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your passion. Also represents your spiritual energy. And I laugh because the King of Wands is the highest spiritual energy you can get, which is connecting to your higher self, your spiritual self, the Creator and the other side. So there's definitely this message here that's been reiterated to take time to connect to the higher realms, connect higher and uh, take time away. It's like the hermit energy. It's not about ostracizing yourself from everyone, but making sure you're taking time. Really, every day this week, since it's just a weekly reading, try to take, even if it's 15 minutes, take time every day just to take a deep breath and step away from everything and connect to the Creator. Connect to that unconditional love energy, this fiery energy that is within you. And know that you have everything you need within you and to focus on that. And that will help bring everything into balance. Because once you step away from the fear, which is what brings us so much of our physical ailments, you know, our nervous system. And, uh, you know, I'm not a licensed doctor by no means, but if you even search and find you know search the internet about fight or flight and how it impacts our body it impacts us so much and when you return to peace and love unconditional love not conditional love that you can lose but unconditional love we do go to this place of this peace where uh, you can just relax and your body just relax and all the tension leaves and all the anxiety leaves and your body kicks back in to working at its highest efficiency, I guess you could say. Whereas when you're in fight or flight, your immune system shuts down, your 
you know, nervous system is flooded with all this adrenaline. There's all this stuff going on in our bodies that shut down because it thinks we need to fight or run like, you know, heck to stay safe and not die. So when we come to this beautiful place where our bodies are functioning, you start to see all this stuff come into alignment in our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, our mental bodies, as a spirit aligns with the physical world. So I love that. Yeah. Boom. And then you have sun. So you do, you have victory. You have, you see the brightness, you see the light in all things instead. So this beautiful brightness comes out. This is like one of the most victorious and positive energy cards in the entire deck. So you definitely have this ability to, you know, kick in with that. You've got the Magician, which is a major arcana, another major arcana, which these mean these are life changing, life impacting. You know, the individual suits are like for the weak, for this, you know, temporary. It's like, okay, this is for this, but this stuff is all about making this practice of connecting to the higher realm a regular practice for the rest of your life. And this is what it'll bring to you for the rest of your life, you know, the sun. And then you have the Eight of Wands. And this is excellent because two things with this. One is that this is quick moving. You have all this energy that's moving fast, moving into your life. So as you connect to this higher realm, this beautiful energy does come flying in to every area of your life, fast and furious in a very good way. You can see how it's even going into the mind and uh, just impacting, like I said, your your spiritual energy just goes off the charts. Your physical world just comes into this alignment, into this brightness. Your mental activities, your mentalness comes into clarity and your emotional world just comes into this great balance. The other thing that this is, is this, this is movement too. So there's movement in your life, but this is messages coming in. All these wands are coming in and bringing you messages from spirit. Because remember, wands is also your spiritual energy. So this is spirit realm bringing you messages like crazy this coming week. So be on the lookout, one, out into the physical world that you're going to be seeing messages, whether it's, I always say it's like you see a license plate or a bumper sticker or you hear a song on the radio or you see like an advertising sign or, you know, a rogue junk email with a subject line. You overhear a conversation. You see something on social media. You see something from the outside world or hear something or smell something. It's like all your senses in the physical realm. You're like, wow, you see all these synchronicities and all these messages that are confirmed. You also will get like mental messages, like if you're not thinking about a loved one, let's say who's passed and on the other side, and just out of the blue, psh, this memory gets activated inside your head. Well, that is them touching that memory in your brain to let you know that they are with you. They've always been with you since they left their mortal body and they've been by your side every second and they will be by your side every second until you pass and come to back to the other side they have the ability to be by the side of every single one of their loved ones all at the same time a hundred percent so they don't have to share themselves with you know everyone else that they loved they are always by your side and that's their way of letting you know that that you are not alone and they are with you as well and then you also will get emotional messages. You'll just get this flood of emotion that will bring this message. Your brain won't pick that up right away. You'll just feel an emotion and you'll feel it flood in. And it's like this gut feeling and this knowing. So your empathy, your empathic abilities is just going to be also working very highly during this week. So this is beautiful. I mean, I really, I know I've said beautiful like 50 times now, but it is. This is a wonderful invitation to connect to the spiritual realm because they have so many messages to give you in so many ways the biggest one is that you are loved by so many on the other side 
that you would not be able to handle it. You know, this you would be this bright light shining if you could just ha grasp how how much you are deeply loved by them. But they will also bring you tons of other messages about everything else in your life. All you have to do is ask, and they will give you signs and synchronicities as well. I am excited for you all for all of this coming week here. And I want to let you know, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also do like a monthly reading for each of the zodiac signs. Also, I do like new moon and full moon readings, like I mentioned at the beginning. I do have that Cancer full moon reading available. Also, the seasonal changes, like the Aquarian season, which starts on January 19th, runs you know about 30 days. So all of that is available. I'll have links here at the end of the video for those. But if you don't want to miss out on any of those whenever they come out, if you give this video a like, and then hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell that gives you the ability to get notified when any of the new videos come out so then you don't miss a thing also if you do all of that that helps spread the love because it helps the youtube algorithm share these videos with other people as well as like recommended or suggested videos so if you want to help spread the love you can do all those three never have any expectations or pressure to do that but if you do feel so inclined, I greatly appreciate that, of course. All right, my dear fire signs, just know as you're going throughout this week and every second of every day of your life, you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. But until then, you take care.